Hello roller skaters. Today we're talking about learning how to 50-50 on your roller skates where one's right in front of the other using a curb. Because I think that's less intimidating than trying to go straight to the coping on a ramp and do it. So eventually doing it on the coping is the goal, but at first we're gonna use a curb as a way of learning how to do it. So one of the things you're gonna to wanna to learn how to do before you get to the curb portion is to just learn how to line your feet up. So I like to have my left foot in front because my left foot's my dominant foot, but you know, you choose and just practice rolling with one foot in front of the other as if you're on a balance beam, right? You might be right foot forward, you might be left foot forward, but practicing having that line up so they're real straight one in front of the other, almost like I don't know if you can see, but like my knees are kind of like tight. One foot in front of the other, mm -hmm. but my knees are kind of tight together as I roll, right? So getting used to that, whichever dominant foot you have. Then the next one is to try to jump onto a line. Not a curb yet. I'm gonna use this line over here. I'm gonna come up to it and jump on it. As if it was like a balance beam, right? Or tight rope. All right, so you just probably play with that. Just ride up alongside of it, parallel to it, and jump on it. Boom. Get a little more speed, ride up to it, jump on it. Ride your line. That one was sloppy. Let's try that again. Ride up to it, look at your line, look where you want to go, jump on it, ride it as long as you can, jump off of it, right? Okay, then the next thing you want to do is find a curb. Start with a small curb. Um, you can, you know, build up in size of curb as you go, but because I'm left foot forward, I like to roll up with the curb on my right. If you're the other way around, you might want to do it the other way. Totally up to you. But the first thing that I did when I was starting to learn how to do this was roll up to the curb with my feet one in front of the other, and then I step my back foot on and then my front foot, and I roll real slow and hop off. Play with that. We're gonna do that again. We'll go over here, come up to it, knees bent, keep the knees bent, leaning forward, hinging the hips, stepping on, popping off. Again, we'll do that again. Stepping on, rolling it, popping off. Okay, watch out for sand and rocks that tend to collect near curbs. <laughs> it's always a good idea to bring a broom. I did not today, so I just have to be careful of the sand. All right, so let's go back toward the pretty fountain. Once you've learned how to do this, stepping on one foot at a time, the next step will be to hop on, all right? So before you roll it, I suggest you just play with standing next to your curb in your position, knees bent, hinging forward at the hips, and hop on. And just stay there for a second, Woo! balance, hop off. All right, do that as many times as you need to in order to feel like stable. The first time I did this, I recall looping out, going backwards, because I was too straight up and down. So it is super important to remember to bend your knees, hinge forward at your hips, and hop on, balance, hop off. It's actually harder to do it from a standstill. It takes more like power from your legs because you're not rolling. But it's just good to practice just to feel stable before you add the roll. Now we're gonna add the roll and the hop. But again, these stages take time. So repeat until you're ready to go for the roll and the hop. Once you're ready, you're gonna roll up to your curb, bend your knees and hop on. Hop off. Try to stay on a little longer. Hop on, hop off. Coming up to this one. Hop on and hop off, right? So the, the main thing is really keeping your knees soft, getting that sort of pop, looking where you wanna go and lining yourself up. Once you have this comfortable in a, on a curb, um, then I think you can start to play with doing it on coping as long as you're comfortable pumping and all of that, but that's another chapter. So hope y'all can use that. Um, please comment below if you have other ways of learning a 50-50 that have worked for you. 
or different tips that we might be able to learn from as well. And please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.